In anime, we often see bright white lights when the character adjusts his or her eyeglasses. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to add that white lights or glow in a real person. We'll be adding the light effect in this photo. Let's just assume he's watching anime, not anything else. Okay, first we need to make a selection around the eyeglasses. For this, I'll be using the pen tool. Zoom it so that we can select it properly. You can use any other selection tool if you want to. Once you are done with the pen tool, then go to path. I place the path tool here, but you can find it in window, path. You can name it anything to save it. Now right click and make a selection. With the selection active, create a solid color. It will create a mask with the selection. Add a little bit of feather to smooth the edge areas. Now create a new layer. Pick white and select the brush tool. With the low flow, add some highlights around the glass. We also need to add highlights in the headphone and the hair. I want to take away some of the highlights from the dark areas. So double click in the layer to open layer style dialog box and move the underlying layer slider from left to right. We can hold alt or option and click to break the slider for a smooth transition. In some cases, you want to add some blue or grayish color. Some anime characters have them. You can easily add them by creating solid colors. For the final touch, we can add some light flares. Change the blend mode to a screen so only the bright areas are visible. Create a mask and remove the hard edges. I'm seeing some colors in the light flare. I'll create a hue saturation adjustment layer and remove the saturation. Now as you can see, other areas in the photo have some noise, but the glass areas don't have it because we added them later. To create that noise, press Ctrl, Shift and N for new layer and select the blend mode overlay. Also check fill with 50% gray. I'll convert it into a smart object so that if needed, I can change the values later. Now go to filter and add some noise. Try to match the noise level with the original photo. A little bit of blur is necessary to make the noise look realistic. Now hold Alt or Option and drag and drop the layer mask to the noise layer. We want the noise only visible to the glass areas. It's very subtle but it helps. Ok, let's quickly see another example. This photo is brighter, so we need to first make it a little darker so that the bright glasses stand out more. We can create curves, levels or any other adjustment layer to make it darker. The rest of the process are exactly the same. So this is how you can create this fun enemy effect. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.